But right now we're going to just take and, and do a regular um, morphogenic field test. Uh, let's find out what her field size is. And we get about, how much is that? Would you say? Probably two feet. Okay, so now we got M field one in her hand. No, she's got M field two. Okay, and that doesn't change it. So let's take M field one, move her that. And here we go, M field one. And that gets her field out. How far is that? It's probably six feet. Okay, so we're going to have her hold M field one while we do the test. So here's the red kit, page one. And we have an attraction here on the foundation, so come over here. And it's not hydration, digestion one, digestion two, digestion three. So, and you were expressing a little mm -hmm. digestive problem earlier. So, choline, colacol, and show AF beta food. Mm. AF beta food. Now, AF beta food is a product from standard processes known to thin the bile and help clean out the gallbladder and it's especially effective if there's a little underlying immune challenge. So we're going to have you hold that because that's what the body is asking for. Okay, so now we're going to test side two and we get another attraction and give me your hand and we will test over sugar handling and that's an attraction. So we'll go down that row and we get a reading over pancreatrophin, pancreatrophin. So let's take pancreatrophin, we'll put that in her field. Okay, so here, here comes it again. Okay, so now we get a rejection on both sides of the foundations kit. So she's holding these two. Now we're gonna go for the cellular energy. So let's start with side one of the white kit and we get an attraction. Okay, so now, why don't you hold these over here, so we've got a free hand here with this, and you just kind of hold your arm up there. And now I'm using my muscles now for her, and we have a lymphocyte energy. So that's a white blood cell, probably going to end up with a, an immune challenge here somewhere along the way. And another attraction. Hmm. An interesting case. Okay. And we have a uterine energy. So, all right, we've got quite a collection here now. Okay, nothing there, and nothing there. Okay, so now let's go. We did have a lymphocyte show up, so we're probably going to have an immune challenge. And we do. Okay. So, morph, stealth, and promoter, and together nothing shows. And scavengers don't show, replicators don't show. But we do get another detrimental energy. So, apparently we have an issue with parasite. Okay, now that rejects now. So that's what we're looking for. Okay, so let's grab, we already have them sitting out here because of the other situation. So is it Zymex 2? No. Is it Wormwood? No. Is it Horse Chestnut? Yes. Okay, so we have a Horse Chestnut. And now we want to know where in the world is that thing? Because we already had some... Uh, I already had some energy show up. Okay, so now does that take care of the lymphocyte? It does. So that addresses why she's got a lymphocyte energy. And, oops, that was over here. Okay, and what was the other? Uterus. Hmm? Whoops. Okay, and this is the uterus energy. And that rejects. So, all right, so there is uterine reference point with horse chestnut. There's the uterine reference point without it. And we also had a reading over the foundations for digestion 3, which would be liver gallbladder. So we're going to want to also check the liver gallbladder point. So one liver point here, one liver point here, gallbladder point, but we've got 
the beta food. Let's take that away. Okay, so that is gonna that's gonna fix that reference point. Now we also have pancreatrophin, which is the pancreas reference point. So apparently, when she was saying she had a digestive problems, she wasn't kidding. <laughs> so, so now she's holding. all the supplements in the field, and we're going to go backward through the kits, and we're going to recheck and see if we get any other readings. Okay. Even though we're not going to give her any more stuff, because she's holding as many things as I would give her on a, one visit. So that rejects, and the white kit rejects, and the red kit rejects. Mm -hmm. So. We've done that step now, and uh, we know that we're clear to finish the procedure, do the dosing procedure, remeasure the field. So this is actually enough for her, because she's holding three bottles too. So now we're going to go back and we're going to check this, and we'll do a quick fatty acid pulse also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I'll bet you... If we take away the beta food, and I'll bet you that changes. One, two, three, four. So, because of the liver gallbladder congestion, mm -hmm. because of the bile being too sludgy and having a slight immune challenge in there, you are not processing your fats properly, and so your body's going to be weaker because of that. So, let's go ahead and we'll finish off and we'll do the pulsing. So, AF beta food would be one, two, Two a day of AF beta food. One pancreatrophin. One, two horse chestnut. Okay, so we have a, a big detrimental. Mm -hmm. So we, she needs to be um, coached about how to handle that. Mm -hmm. You're going to do 10 days on, two days off, 10 days on, four days off. Let the eggs hatch out, kill the eggs. Okay, using horse chestnut. Mm -hmm. So, three products, but a total of five pills. Mm -hmm. So, it seems like she's going to be taking a lot of stuff, but when you have this type of a situation where you really address the need, the protocols are not that great. You may be on three different things, but you're only on, a, on a one or two of them. So, it isn't as overwhelming as it seems. But holding this, let's go back and we'll remeasure the field. Uh, the detrimental energy, by the way, rejects, which is what we want. And let's go back and measure her field, which was about, she said, two feet. <laughs> and there it is. Mm -hmm. So now she has a field of how much? Six feet. Six feet, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, a uh, six foot field, that's amazing. Oh. <laughs> okay, so thank you for uh, yeah, letting us do this. Mm -hmm.